<clears throat> calories are king. Obviously, if you want to lose weight, you got to yeah. be in a deficit. And if you want to gain weight, you got to be in a surplus. Uh, the size of that deficit or surplus is important. Too big of a deficit, obviously, you might compromise muscle tissue and be too hungry to adhere. Uh, too big of a surplus, you're just going to gain fat as opposed to muscle. Uh, so once you get past calories, you're going to look at those macros. And, and you're right, I focus on protein first. For somebody that's dieting, I like them, I probably keep the protein a little high, about a gram per pound or 1.2 grams per pound. And that might be per pound of goal weight if, if they uh, have are significantly overweight. Um, and if they're trying to gain weight, I can bring them down to say 0.8 or 0.7 grams per pound uh, simply because they're in a calorie surplus. And so the, the calories themselves are muscle sparing. and They don't need the additional protein, which is satiating and obviously has the, the higher thermic effect. So they don't get uh, they don't net out as many calories as they want. And I use a variety of sources, as mentioned earlier. I try and get a little red meat in there. Certainly some, some chicken is uh, is uh, is fine. Eggs, dairy. Just get an assortment so they can get all those micronutrients, the, the B12, the zinc, and the iron from red meat, the calcium from the dairy, obviously, the vitamin D, the um, uh, choline, and and, uh, uh, and biotin from the egg yolk. Uh, so I get an assortment of different pro or sources, some salmon at least twice a week for the EPA, DHA. I think those things are all pretty necessary for both groups. Um, it becomes a little more important that the dieters are a little more strict. My weight gainers can do an 80-20. You know, they can do an if it fits your macros or more flexible approach. But when you start restricting calories, uh, in order to get sufficient micronutrients in and adequate protein, you got to be a little pickier about the, uh, you know, using the more whole foods so that you aren't getting deficient in any of the, uh, obviously, protein, but then the macronutrients. And then I work on, for the dieters, I'm working on satiety. And again, protein, fiber, drinking lots of water, eating high satiety foods like boiled potatoes and, and, and whole fruits. And for my weight gainers, now I'm using easier to digest foods. Uh, the dieters, I, I might have them eat steak because they've got to cut it and chew it. And it takes a little longer to, to eat and digest. And just that time span that you're sitting there physically you know, eating food takes longer. For my bulkers, now I want more uh, easy to digest food, as I mentioned earlier with the, uh, the Monster Mash, and then throw, uh, you know, like the difference between a 4,000 calorie and a 6,000 calorie diet for my bulkers is six cups of rice. That's really yeah. it. Mm -hmm. The 4,000 calorie foundation is all of the, the macros and micros that are necessary for both groups. 